All right, pop quiz, hot shot. You've got a room with two hot plates and a halogen light into one socket. What do you do? What do you do? Put on my bathrobe and mellow down easy? You've got RA potential, kid. I'm gonna mention you to the higher ups. Let me show you something. Welcome to part number 26. Yes, this is the actual 26 part. It's not, the other part was actually part 25. I just forgot to say it. Anyway, let's get started. One runaway daughters, Paul Rudd and Julie Bowen. Kind of a fun movie. Kind of weird, but it's fun. Uh, Paul Rudd's pretty cool, and he was just voted sexiest man of the year, so that is pretty cool for those who care. <laughs> I got you there, didn't I? I was like, oh, what? <laughs> anyway. Uh, let me get the sticker off. Hold on. There's the disc right there. Runaway Daughters. I'll check that out. Bushwhacked with Daniel Stern. This is a funny movie right here. About this like convict who tries to have a normal life and then all of a sudden, you know, people realize he's a convict and he somehow becomes this uh, camp instructor for these kids who are going camping. It was originally supposed to be a Marv movie from Home Alone, but I think they changed it midway through filming. But it's a very funny movie. Unfortunately, this is the edited version, which only came out on DVD. The uncensored version, which has like more dirty language and stuff, that's only on tape, I believe. Which I do plan to get one day. Because I love this movie so much. Yeah, there's the disc. If you haven't seen Bushwhack, I, Bushwhacked, I highly recommend it. Beneath. Uh, this is an MTV television movie from, like, I think the mid-2000s. Oh, okay, 2007. I guess that's kind of mid-2000s. Uh... It's just whatever. Why is the disc uh, over here? Anyway, there's beneath. There's the disc. Don't have much to say about that. Let me fix that real quick. It's actually starting to kind of bother me. Venice Underground. Uh, haven't seen this one yet. I do intend to, though. This came out in 2005, really. Edward Furlong's in this. That's awesome. Edward Furlong was in so many movies in the mid-2000s. Yeah, there's the disc. Assassination Nation. Uh, Bella, I got this because I'm a Bella Thorne fan. Uh, I like her in independent movies. Yeah. You know. While this movie is not that independent, it's from Universal. I found it okay. Not my favorite movie of hers, but it's still pretty good. Kind of like one of those, you know, edgy. Charlie's Angels kind of movies. Saw 4. I have not seen this yet. I just got this not that long ago. But I, do, I need to get Saw 3, 6, and 7. Then I'll have all the Saw films. I like how it's like a see-through slipcover. And there's the disc. But yeah. I need to get more saw. Starve. Uh, Mariah, uh, Bobby C. King's in this. I recognize him from something else. That guy kind of looks like Markiplier. Uh, yeah. 2014, really? Wow. 
Much later movie then. Avalon, this is like a Polish movie. Or a foreign film that was directed by the same guy who directed the animated Ghost in the Shell movie. It's a pretty cool movie, actually, I have to say. I recommend it. There's the disc. The Frisco Kid with Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford. Uh, Harrison Ford after Star Wars, not pre. It's about a Jewish cowboy who meet, uh, meets up with another cowboy. I bet you those two words he probably never expected to hear. But yeah. Hollywood Homicide with Harrison Ford and Josh Harnett. This was the first movie I believe that Jeanette McCurdy was in, which she was like 10. At least I remember her being in it. But yeah, there's the disc. I remember it being pretty good. Alright, Freshman Orientation. About a guy who, this is about a guy who pretends to be gay to get with this girl in this club. It's weird. John Goodman actually plays a gay guy in this, and it's pretty funny. This was filmed in, I think, 2003. Had a mini premiere in 2004. It didn't come out on video until 2008. Found that kind of weird. Saw that like last month, I believe. Uh, oh, and um, Heather Matarazzo is in it as well. Watchmen: The Tales of the Black Firefighter. Oh, Tales of the Black Frider. Okay, I, I didn't. I'm not allowed to make sure I said that right. I got this in a collection of stuff. I've seen, like I said, I've seen the Watchmen movie, but I have it right there. But I haven't seen this one. I'm curious to check it out. I know it should be definitely be better than... Oh, there's the video game ad. I know it should be better than the... Uh, what do you call it? The series. That's for damn sure. Shaft in a, in Africa. Like I said before in my other video, I have yet to watch um, this one. Although I tend to. There's the inside, and it's on a flipper disc. My friend says the Shaft movies are really good. Another movie I got in a lot. This is The Adventures of Scamper the Penguin. An animated movie from 1992. Uh, it's alright. God, just a typical kids movie. You saw from like Good Times Home Video or something. This was a movie put by Illumination Filmworks, though. I think that's out of print, too. 8mm 2. I don't have 8mm 1 for some reason. But I do have the second one. I need to get the first one with Nicolas Cage. This DVD is pretty out of print. Last I checked. It's especially the unrated version. But yeah. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. They tried to kind of capitalize on the Exorcist movies. It's like sort of like The Exorcist except like with an adult woman as scary as The Exorcist that's not even half true but I guess you can 
it's interesting if you want to see another exorcism movie. It's not an exorcist movie, it's an exorcism movie. Big difference. What is this? Oh! This is a Buck09 video, raw crap. That's not on YouTube. I'm going to upload that on YouTube. Assuming the copyright's fine. I'm going to upload that on my other channel. The Underneath, Peter Gallagher. Has nothing to do with the Oasis Brothers. Yeah. Kind of like a psychological thriller. Got one of those. These came out in 94, I think? 94, yeah. Yeah. Fuzz. Burt Reynolds and Raquel Welch. Haven't seen this one yet. Although I plan to. It looks pretty funny. I know this is out of print. Here's my other copy of Death Proof. This is the two disc edition. There's disc one, disc two. Great Quentin Tarantino movie. A lot of people don't even know that exists. You stupid man. That's the name of the movie. Uh, independent movie. You can kind of tell it was. Uh, it was made in 2002 and it didn't come out on video until like 2006. Which I find really late for a movie that like that to be filmed or released on video but whatever. It's an alright one. Speaking of go oh, very okay this the day my parents ran away. Very weird television movie about this guy who drives his parents nuts because he's irresponsible and they go to this a parents only camp or so. it's a freaking weird movie it really is Seth Green's in it though when he was like 19 so that's interesting to note but yeah if you could get that for like under five bucks I'd say pick it up California uh, Brad Pitt very sc creepy movie very creepy very weird and a lot of people don't even know this exists oh it, oh it says it has the unrated version as well I did not know that it didn't say that anywhere on the front cover but yeah has a MGM thing it came with two of them for some reason and it's on a flipper disc and there's Brad Pitt It's a freaky movie. Pick that one up if you can find it. I showed the first Men in Black and the fourth, and here's the, here's the second one, which is my favorite. Believe it or not, same planet, new scum. Yeah, it's a freaking weird movie. I love my favorite part was, hey, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, come on, get the Balchinian. And the guy with the nutsack with his, as a chin. It's kind of funny. But yeah, check that one out. How to deal? Rom com, you know, Mandy Moore. Pre. Uh, Saved. I was this before or after Saved? Okay, it was before Saved. All right. I think they were filming Saved when it came out, though. It's got a Liz Fair music video. It's kind of cool. Another flipper disc. And there's the insert. Does it have anything? Oh yeah, it does. What am I saying? The inside. haven't seen this yet. Mean Season. Kurt Russell. I love Kurt Russell. You know. So I have to definitely check this one out. 1985. Okay. 
so after the thing. There's the disc. You want to see a really freaking weird movie? The Experiment. Remember I showed that guy in the picture of the uh, Run Lola Run? This is him. And it's about this movie. It's a movie about like an experiment of like there's this group of prisoners and a group of uh, guards and they have to do this like program for like one whole month. And things go wrong really crazy like fast. It's only in German, but if you like German subtitles, if you can or can read English subtitles, if you are, let me see, if you can watch it with subtitles, and if you don't mind subtitles, then you'll have fun with this. Lincoln Park, a Lincoln Park song is in that as well. Haven't seen this, but I intend to. Anna, no back. Yeah, there's the disc. The Waxwork Films. These are out of print, I believe. It's got the first one and Waxwork 2. Want to see some freaking weird movies? These are some weird movies. Especially number one. Part two is just okay. But it's got both of them on one disc, which I found pretty kind of cool. That would kind of decrease the quality, though. A Jim Carrey movie that a lot of people don't even know exists called The Majestic. It's a drama. A guy who plays a Holly like a guy who writes movies for Hollywood and falls in love. Surprised a lot of people don't even know it. it even came out. Yeah, there's the disc. Casino Jack. Kevin Spacey, Kelly Preston, and John Lovitz. Yeah. Again, a weird movie. John Lovitz makes this movie, though, so. Yeah. Attack of the Sabretooth. I still have yet to watch this. I like kind of like Sabretooth killer kind of movies. Two thousand, yeah. Plus, I heard this is out of print, so. See, you could kind of tell within my videos, like which movies are out of print and which ones aren't, because a lot of these deals you just don't see in the stores anymore. Uh, this is Steven Seagal, Double Feature, Above the Law, and Hard to Kill. Yeah, if you like Steven Seagal, you'll enjoy it. And of course, it's a two-sided disc. Yeah. I think Seagal's okay. Just my opinion. Dirty Sanchez. This is like a British jackass. I mentioned this before. Mm. What to say about this? Um, it definitely exists. That's for sure. Doesn't have the same charm as Jackass. But if you just turn your brain off and watch this, then you'll have a fun time. Other than that, just stick with Jackass. The Matrix. The first one on DVD. Can't believe I still have this, honestly. I know there's a new uh, Matrix coming out, so that's kind of cool. I saw this in uh, 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 college in a class. That was pretty interesting. Then we have Star Wars Clone Wars. Not the Clone Wars, but just Clone Wars. This is the Gendy Tartrovsky. I think that's how you say his name. The creator from Dexter's Lab. He created this series as well. I think it's superior to the Clone Wars. The original Clone Wars. This is just a bunch, a compilation of all the episodes. At least most of them. 
into one movie. I remember watching this a lot. It was really hyped when it came out. Because it came out around the same time episode 3 did. So, yeah, that was kind of a big deal. I don't even know why I have this. This is You Got Served. Uh, my stupid Goodwill, like, near me, there's one of them. They, like, only sell movies in bundles, and this was in one of them. I don't even know if I'll ever even watch this. I think I might just give it away. Or maybe I will watch it, and maybe I will enjoy it. I don't know. Just stupid. I hate stuff like that. It's like, you get one movie you really like. Oh, was interesting. Uh, and then you get a bunch of movies you don't even care about. I don't like that. Whatever, though. <sighs> Black Crescent Moon. This is kind of a funny movie. It's like a real kind of trashy kind of comedy. Like, mystery comedy. Yeah. It's weird. But you'll enjoy it, probably. If you like that kind of humor, at least. Sinbad is the Lou Ferrigno version of the Seven Seas. This is from, what, 89? Yeah. Lou Ferrigno, if you like him, you like this movie. The Mad Monster, 1942, with Glenn Strange. Very classic, classic stuff. I don't have many 40s movies in my collection. I've got a couple, but not a lot. 2002, this DVD came out. That's kind of funny. It, or interesting. It's not really funny, but whatever. Anyway, there's the disc. Okay, there's this booklet. Alpha video that has a lot of B 40s and 30s and 50s B movies and stuff. If you're into that kind of thing. They're known for putting a lot of stuff out. Miss Soffel. Diane Keaton and Mel Gibson. <coughs> I didn't think I would, you'd see. This is one of the fr uh, pair like that. This was one of the first movies re that was rated PG-13 back in 1984. This, it was this, Red Dawn, and The Pink Flamingo. Or, The Flamingo Kid, excuse me. Weird to see Mel Gibson in an American role so early. Alright. Now, I bet you were thinking... What is this? Okay, so this is the Beavis and Butthead King Turd collection. I found this at my record store for like two bucks. And they had a couple other cases in there, but they didn't have the discs. These three are what I found in that lot of movies that they are selling. And these are have all the episodes, or this is season one and two and the pilots uncut. And with all the music videos. Which I think is really cool. It, it, they're from the King Turd collection. So it's definitely af made after 2012 or so. Great. If I need to get the rest of them. But if you could find any of these, they are absolutely worth it. And whoever put this out did a really good job. Like, it comes with a printed insert and everything. Which has every air date, every video that's in it. Like, this guy did an amazing job. And of course, Beavis and Butthead's a classic, you know. So yeah, if they only had... These are the only episodes that they actually had. And then, I found this. This is volume... Uh, what is it? Nine? Okay. This has the movie. It's pretty much the same version as the uh, Paramount Special Edition. It's still cool to have, though. <sighs> Itchy. 
But yeah. So I guess I have two copies of the movie on DVD. This is extra stuff. This is like bonus features. This guy has a lot of stuff. The history. MTV Tunumentary tun Special. Letterman appearances. Kimmel. San Diego Comic Con panel. Mike Judge stuff. It has some of like his early shorts on here. I love the 90s Beavis and Butthead. And it even has the entire Beavis and Butthead uh, experience soundtrack, which my volume t the up uh, before that it actually. But yeah, this has that, and it also includes a photocopied insert of the soundtrack, the cassette soundtrack, and it has everything from. The, what the cassette had. My uncle actually used to own this album and then he gave it away and then years later I found him a copy and I gave it to him because my uncle's a die-hard Beavis and Butthead. He's probably seen like every episode. You probably, uh, you name it, he probably seen the episode. <laughs> Hope to get the complete thing one day. And as a bonus, Here's the head, saves the earth. This is a very short-lived MTV show that only lasted very short, like, not even like a season, I think. But Butthead actually appears in the beginning of this as a cameo. Yeah, a lot of people haven't heard of that. That's from a VHS tape, I believe. The head TV series, yeah. Weird. In more MTV stuff, this is a show called The State. Uh, it was kind of like a comedy... It was like... Think of Kids in the Hall on MTV. Like an MTV version of Kids in the Hall. It was, so it was like a sketch, a sketch comedy show. My copy only comes with two discs. This is a bootleg, of course. I know they released the complete series officially. But... My copy only came with disc 2 and 3. However, I'm glad I have this because the complete series set that was officially released actually cut out all the uh, vi the music that was on this. And I think the music, if you're watching this sh series, completes it. And unfortunately, the officially released stuff cut the music. So, maybe one day I'll upload the original versions of at least half of this. What's uh, what I have online in the original versions? Come on, I gotta have a Limp Biscuit DVD. This is Grace videos. This has all their videos up until Behind Blue Eyes. I don't think it has anything from the EP that they did. The Unforgettable Truth. Yeah. Because it goes up to 2005, so. Yeah, there's the disc. And unfortunately, all the videos are censored. There was no uncensored video version of the DVD. However, all the uncensored versions are on YouTube, so that's cool. I wish there was a uns... Which is weird, because this... Uh, uh, uncensored version of a CD, but not the videos. The last run with Fred Savage and Amy Adams. Pretty weird movie about the player played by Fred Savage. And it's really funny watching it because when you watch Fred Savage in this, he was also the voice of Oswald the Octopus on Nick Jr. So you get to hear a lot of swear words come from Oswald's like kind of like uh, Bill Foggerbocky and uh, Jeffers body kind of like that but th more vulgar yeah I have this <laughs> maybe I'll do like a little edit make Oswald dropping the f-bomb that'll be pretty funny Mondo Fuzz this is a documentary on like garage rock kind of bands 
I got a record store. This is a DVD-R copy. There's the disc. I got it from Burger Records. Even had, had a note from the director. Hey guys, hope you enjoy. Let me know if you want to set up a screening or sell copies in the shop. Andy, and there's his ad, uh, email if you're interested. And it came with like two stickers. So, yeah, pretty good documentary. I don't think it's on YouTube. Uh, if it is, if it's not, then I'll upload it. If it is, it, then I don't need to. Returner. Cyberpunkish kind of Japanese movie. Pretty cool. I like these cyberpunk kind of movies. Yeah, there's the disc. There's the answer. With more cyberpunk movies. I think cyberpunk may be one of my favorite genres of film. If you even count that as a genre. Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico. Mexico. Um, I remember Cartoon Network used to play this thing all the time. Ugh. I think they still do on occasion. But it has a funny commentary with like the characters. So that's kind of cool. I think Casey Kazem was still voiced in Shaggy at this time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's... He was still doing it by that... 2003? Yeah. So probably still. Kind of a forgotten movie. 13 Ghosts. Like Kind of like one of those psychological thriller kind of movies. Like thriller horror. Where it kind of like screws with your head. And I like movies like that. You don't see a whole bunch of movies like that. Like horror wise. But when they do come out. They're usually pretty good. I got that sealed believe it or not. For like two bucks. Nanny McPhee. Uh, there's uh, Thomas Sangster. The voice of Ferb. Uh, this is with... Emma Thompson. I know there's a sequel, but I haven't, wa I haven't seen it. I saw this on TV many, 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 many years ago. And I thought it was pretty good. I remember the commercials mostly. I remember thinking it was really weird. Alright, there's this is the second movie I have that's called Black Sheep. This is the horror version. Horror movie. About killer sheep. That's all you need to know. People who become sheep. Pretty disturbing. But it it's got a funny aspect to it, I guess. This is going for 40 online. I couldn't believe it. I got for like 5. Pre-tier. This is like a show-in kind of magical kind of action anime. This is the complete series. Uh, there's disc 1. Oh, wait, is this disc 1? Okay. This is disc 3. Here's disc one. And disc two. I don't know if this ever aired on like Cartoon Network or the anime channel or whatever. It's been a long time. Yeah, I got that. That's out of print for sure because it was released by ADV. Very sturdy box. But yeah. I have that. Kill All Redneck Pricks. Or Carp. This is a documentary about the sludge kind of rock garage rock band called Carp. It's pretty well done. Pretty underground. 
It was released by K Records. That's funny. So if you like Carp, you'll like this. And it even has, came with a bonus disc of a grunge documentary called Hype from 96. It's the same version as the official DVD. Last House on the Left, Wes Craven's absolute masterpiece. Right here. If you haven't seen this movie, what the hell are you doing? Wes, Qua Wes Craven was a genius. He really was. And this movie's pretty freaking crazy. There's so many versions of this movie out there that, you know, there's like... To this day, I think there's still lost footage that they shot, that they had to cut. You know? Because it's pretty graphic, and it still is. But yeah. That's a classic. The Suburbans. I only got this because Will Ferrell was in it. And I barely remember what it was about at all. I think I got for my mom more. So I don't know if I was really paying attention that much when watching it. I don't know. I gotta give it another rewatch. Yeah, there's the inside. Slayer. I just got the movie because it was called Slayer. Slayer! Anyway. This, is, uh, t this came out in 2006, I believe, yeah. B movie. Kind of trash, honestly. It was kind of boring. It was okay, I guess. Uh, American Adobo. It's supposed to be a comedy, but it really wasn't that great. There's so much I could have cut out this movie. But it is what it is. It was only a dollar. Another weird documentary. This is called Sleaze Mania. About a bunch of, like, documentary on, like, sleazy kind of cult films horror or whatever. This is the 2012 Collector's Edition that uh, Johnny Legend actually put this together who used to be friends with Andy Kaufman. So it's got a lot of weird kind of movies in it. And it's even signed by Johnny Legend. And on the disc which is a DVD-R. Yeah it's really weird stuff. Unspeakable. Haven't really seen it, but I heard it has Dennis Hopper in it. And I do like Dennis Hopper. It's like one of the, it's kinda like looks like it's kinda like the Green Mile. Sea Species, that's a movie series. Of course. The Descent 2. I have yet to watch this part two. I know I've seen part one though. This came out a couple years after the first one. I thought the first one was freaky. Yeah. Definitely have to check that out. PCU. This is kind of like Animal House in the 90's. With the early role of David Spade. Cause it's full screen and widescreen versions. Okay. Yeah, this came out in 94. Pretty funny. This DVD actually goes for like 30 online. I got mine for like 5. Warm Blooded Killers. This was a weird movie, independent movie. About this one guy, uh, guy and his sister who try to hide a body. And it all comes down to like this guy trying to find this like baseball card and it's freaking weird it's good though I think it came out in 99 but it didn't it wasn't released on DVD till like 2001 yeah 
it's it has to be seen to be believed. I'll say that. Day after tomorrow. Haven't seen it, but I heard my f mom say it was kind of boring. I don't know. Maybe I'll find it fun. Fun, I guess. Yeah, there's the disc. Mummy, I'm a zombie. <sighs> Weirdest animation you will ever see in the animated film. Kind of cheap, too. Oh, it's uh, also we got reversible art. And there's the disc. So yeah, that was something. Easy. Sex is, love isn't. Isn't that the freaking truth? <laughs> Screen Media Films put this out. It's like a 16 millimeter f a student film. Emily Deschanel's in this. Well, it's not really a. St I, I don't know if it's a really a student film. It has uh, Emily Deschanel in it. But it was definitely looked like it was filmed in 16 millimeter. Yeah, I like those kind of movies. Spy Kids 2: The Island of Lost Dreams. I used to have the older DVD of this, or I used to have it on DVD, and then I sold it because it stopped working, and then I got another copy. This is my favorite Spy Kids movie of all time. Just so great. Like, the first two Spy Kids movies are just gold. Third one's alright. And the fourth one, uh, we just don't talk about that one. <laughs> It just brings you back to a simpler time in the world. Steve Buscemi's in it too. Or see me. I don't know how you say his name. I think it's see me. Antonio Banderas. Yeah. Killer Buzz about Killer Bees. This I don't think Killer Buzz is even the original title. I think it was just the video title. I forgot what it was really called. But yeah, just another B movie. It's alright. Came out in like 2000, I believe? Or 2001. One of the two. Oliver and Company. I showed the VHS of this. Here's the DVD. Great soundtrack. This came out, I think, a year before Little Mermaid. So this is the last film before the end of the golden age of Disney. At least that's so they say. So yeah. I think I got this at a yard sale. Yeah. Billy Joel, come on. Speaking of Spy Kids, here's a movie that has Alex Vega in it. It's like a teen comic, teen kind of weird movie. It was like they were trying to do Mean Girls, honestly. So if you want to see Mean Girls with the chick from Spy Kids, then this movie is for you. It came out a, year, a couple of years after the third one did. The Other Side. Hmm. Haven't seen it yet. Looks weird though. Another Illumination movie. Okay. So I kind of know what I guess to expect. Yeah. The Holiday. Pretty funny movie. Uh, believe it or not, Jack Black's actually not the funniest character, uh, funniest guy in this movie. It's actually uh, Eli Wallach plays the old man. He is so funny in this. And he was like nearing a hundred. He was like 91 when this came out. I think he was nearing a hundred. 
that wouldn't be nearing 100, but yeah, he was in his 90s for sure. He was still funny, you know. I loved him in uh, Good and the Bad and the Ugly. I loved him in this. Here's a French movie, Bloody Mallory. I wouldn't call it cyberpunk. It's more of like an action movie. And there's like a transvestite in it as well. It's, uh... It's very weird. I liked it, though. I, I enjoyed it. But be warned, if you watch this movie, just be prepared. It's a weird one. But it's from a French movie. It's from a French filmmaker, so... Of course, it's going to be kind of weird. Hey, Stallone, Cobra. It's like another action movie with Sylvester Stallone. Shortly after Rambo. Yeah. Before he got old. Who's your caddy? I know people didn't like this movie when it came out, but I liked it, you know? It was like Caddyshack with the, uh, in the modern times, or 2007 at least. And I got it because Andy Milanakis is in it. I love Andy Milanakis. He's always been really funny. He's probably the funniest guy in this movie. Yeah. Lil Wayne's in it too. Yeah, he's in a little part. Although that's when he starts sucking in my... No, he starts sucking in like 99 in my opinion. But yeah, BTK Killer. I got it because it looked kind of cool. It's like another one of those like... Serial Killer kind of movies. From the director of the Boogeyman, and the Boogeyman was just mediocre. That one's slightly better, but still kind of mediocre. I Spy, Eddie Murphy. I have a VHS, bootleg VHS of this, based on the 60s uh, series. I really liked it. I don't know why it's so forgotten about. I wish it wasn't. There's just so many movies from that time period. Just People just don't talk about it anymore. I don't know why. But yeah. And The Name of the Rose with Sean Connery. They believed in God but traded with the devil. If you like Sean Connery, you'll enjoy it. I think that's from the 80s. Yeah, 86. Interesting. Anyway, that's that part of the DVD. Whoa! That was that part of the DVD collect. Anyway, that was that part of the DVD collection. See you in the next part.